In the high valleys of the Bolivian Andes, the Kalawaya doctors invoke the Pachamama, Mother Earth. The Kalawaya knowledge may soon be lost. UNESCO has classified it as an intangible heritage of humanity. Don Ramon is over 80 years old. He comes from one of the most famous Kalawaya families. Max is happy to see his old friend again. Don Ramon and Max are the last to still speak Machahuyay, the language by which the Kalawaya transmit their secrets. Don Ramon's pottery is pre-Hispanic. It was fired before the Spanish settlers arrived. It's too dry, says Don Ramon. The plants are suffering. Luis, Don Ramon's neighbor, has twisted his knee. He'll come back later. Don Ramon brought nettles so that Max can prepare a poultice. The nettle is a hot plant. It's excellent for healing strained muscles and stretched ligaments, and it stimulates the nervous system. Don Ramon invokes the machulas, the ancestral spirits that give the plants their healing powers. Max knows more than 600 medicinal plants and preparations. Don Ramon and Max are like encyclopedias. Each Kalawaya doctor holds a considerable amount of empirical know-how accumulated over the centuries and garnered during constant travels throughout South America. This is the timeless knowledge Max is now transmitting to Johnny. Luis, Don Ramon's neighbor, arrives. <laughs> The news that a Kalawaya doctor has returned to Charazani travels fast through the valley. Max diagnoses a minor sprain which will heal easily. The Kalawaya classify their plants according to species and types. Researchers studying this classification have discovered that it is similar to the botanical system of modern science. 30% of these plants are as effective as synthetic medicines. People in the valley say that powerful pharmaceutical laboratories are trying to steal the secrets of the Kalawaya doctors. Is this a baseless rumor or a genuine danger? For centuries, the Kalawaya have cultivated semi-wild gardens with unique collections of plants. 
The Kalawaya pharmacopoeia includes 984 plants. Their characteristics have been indexed and their properties recognized. Fishing is a favorite pastime of the people of the Charazani Valley. The trout supplies substances that calm nervous tension and heal brain illnesses. In addition to plants, the traditional store of drugs also includes many animal, insect, and mineral elements. The Kalawaya believe that many illnesses and weaknesses are caused by magical or supernatural events. Kalawaya doctors do not just prescribe medicine. They also recommend diets based on fresh vegetables. Max and Johnny are gathering Comer Chuhu. This prickly shrub is known to cleanse the body of toxins. It also treats fear, which is, according to the Kalawaya, one of the worst human ailments. They never use tools for gathering, as they could damage the plants. <laughs> The Kalawaya communicate constantly with their gods, Mother Earth, Lightning, the ancestral spirits. Max has placed the plants gathered with his young disciple on a cabildo, an open-air altar, where Max invokes the ancestral spirits, asking them to give the plants the power to heal. The Kalawai are not only traveling doctors. They hold a unique worldview, which differs widely from the rationalist and scientific vision of developed countries. The Kalawaya culture is an array of values, myths, rituals, and artistic expressions inherited from the ancient peoples of the Andes. My father was a Peru. I was a Peru. I was a Peru. I was a Peru. I was a Peru. Oroa 
la, el escasir, en siendo la vez dormir. Después había pues, no había hecho nada. Después, en medianoche habían sacado. Después, es nada, nada, pues, sabían venir. En la mañana, en, enferma habían venido. Después, en Chorobayaco sabían hasta, sabía hasta dónde, pues, algo la había estado. Después, the Cariceri are malevolent spirits that take on human form. They steal the fatty tissue of men, a source of force and energy. Johnny is convinced his father died because a Cariceri stole his fatty tissue. Max adopted the young orphan when he was five years old. Since his father's death, Johnny has wanted to become a Kalawaya to heal people and to fight evil spirits. <laughs> the Kalawaya's pagan beliefs have always brought them problems. The Inquisition was a violent and relentless opponent. The construction of this church on the valley slope represents the Catholics' determination to impose its will on the Andean people. Johnny is sure that the church conceals some devilish device.